Let's learn about Hund's rule. Hund's rule is a simple but powerful principle in quantum chemistry. It states, when electrons occupy orbitals of equal energy, they fill them singly first with parallel spins before pairing them up. This means that if there are multiple orbitals at the same energy level, like the 3p orbitals or the 5d orbitals, each orbital gets one electron before any orbital gets two. So why does Hund's rule matter? Hund's rule minimizes electron repulsion. Electrons are negatively charged and they repel each other. By spreading out across orbitals, each electron stays as far apart as possible, making the atom more stable. Think of it like passengers on a bus. If there are three empty seats in a row, no one wants to sit next to someone else unless they have to. Electrons behave in a similar way. Let's look at an example. Nitrogen, for example. The atomic number of nitrogen is seven, meaning it has seven electrons. The electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, and 2p3. Now let's focus on the 2p3 part. The p sublevel has three orbitals, and according to Hund's rule, the three electrons will fill the three orbitals singly with parallel spins like this. No pairing occurs yet because each orbital can hold one electron first. Hund's rule also applies to more complex configurations like D and F orbitals. For example, in the D block of the periodic table, the 5D orbital follows the same principle. Each orbital gets one electron before any pairing happens. Here's another example. The electronic configuration of chromium. Chromium has an atomic number of 24, so its electronic configuration is 4s1 and 3d5. Notice that all 5d orbitals are half-filled before moving to higher energy levels. This half-filled state provides extra stability for the atom. So to recap, Hunt's rule ensures that electrons fill orbitals in a way that minimizes repulsion and maximizes stability.